Hello everybody, Peter here. Welcome. Hope you're all doing well today. My name is Peter, and today we are going to be doing some spray painting. Something I'm not terribly familiar with, but something that, all the same, I had a lot of fun with. I found an old shed in the woods at a place where I used to work, and... <gasps> Maybe this is within the realm of graffiti. For it to be called graffiti, does it have to be illegal? I'm not sure. But this wasn't altogether uh, un. It wasn't a, it wasn't altogether illegal. I got permission from someone. However, I'm not sure that the person I got for permission from was altogether in charge of the place. So it was kind of in a gray area, but I don't condone this condone mean encourage. I don't encourage uh, gr like illegal graffitiing, like going around in alleys and um, throwing up. Uh, you know, spray paint on people's garage doors and stuff like that's just not cool, man. Because then that guy has to go out and, you know, sc spend his Saturday scrubbing your dumb spray paint off your off his garage door. And uh, it's just uh, that's not what art is about, because it's just the the cool spray paint. And I'm more about street art. Like I used to live in a place called uh, Pilsen in Chicago and I was very inspired by a lot of the amazing street art there in the alleys. And I know there was even a, I don't know what it was called entirely, but there was even a, like a whole street art society, like a commission, something, some sort of organization that organized a lot of the amazing street art there and, and made sure it was all, uh, you know, above, above, uh, above ground. I don't know, I don't know the idiom, but, uh, it was, made sure people weren't doing it illegally and because of that um you know people could do it during daylight and and it was all so much m cooler and amazing i know there's like a whole society a whole you know there's uh, people that thrive on doing it illegally and that's a whole cool thing you know i don't know anything about that scene i'm not going to pretend to know about that scene i don't know about it but I was very inspired by walking around Pilsen, the neighborhood I used to live in, and looking at all the amazing street art. And it was on the sides of legitimate businesses, and those legitimate businesses would leave it up because they liked it there, and they gave permission for the artists to put it there, and uh, it was it was incredible stuff. Like, you could even go on art walks. There were, like, tours. Uh, you know, people would, like, take people around and make sure everyone saw all the coolest stuff that artists had poured themselves into putting up on the walls, and... It was incredible, and I loved it. And uh, so I found a shed here out in the middle of the woods with, it's kind of a, in the middle of a junk heap. And uh, it's, maybe I, I got a, 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 a tiny glimpse of doing a little bit of this myself. I, before this, I had never really done any spray painting, and I I got a few to practice, to get like a little, uh, a little practice. I, I got a few pieces of cardboard first. I posted pictures of these pieces of cardboard on Instagram, Twitter, whatever, and I just practiced, you know, I had a few, I found a few, like, half-empty bottles of spray paint in the, in the garage, uh, in someone else's garage, and practiced, you know, just the mechanics of how spray paint work. I'm sure I just barely touched the tip of the iceberg, as it were, but just to get, 
you know, to figure out how this, how the paint sprays. Uh, and then after I did that, the next day or the day, couple days later, uh, I went to this little this little peely paint wall of old wood, and I got some bottles of my own spray paint from from the mart, and I started spray painting. I didn't plan it out ahead of time. I know a lot of times people do, but that's not really how I do. And I just started spray painting, and I had a great time. I think I should have. I did look for some eye protection so that, like, the particulates didn't get in my eyeballs. I did wear a face mask because I didn't want to get cancer or something. I'm not sure how all that works. I do know that cancer is bad, and, uh, you know, these days everything gives you it. Even my water here where I live, apparently. But uh, it's had a great time, and uh, I still can't. Maybe this is one of those things. Maybe it's like learning to play the guitar at first. You know how when you start, first start playing? playing the guitar it feels like the strings are making it feels like you're playing literal knife blades your fingertip hurts fingertips hurt I still even like three or four days later here I still cannot feel my fingertip there's literally no sensation in my fingertip it's completely numb you know from pushing the little knobs on the little caps on the top of the spray paint bottles for a few hours there an hour however long this took I don't know um, eventually my hand got started getting really tired, but then you can push through and just still keep doing it. Sometimes I tried to adjust my grip on the, on the bottles, but it, it didn't matter. Sometimes I tried pushing with my thumb. I don't know. You just gotta, you just gotta keep going even when you get tired because eventually, I guess if you do this enough, you, you, you know, you're, you develop the muscles that you, you didn't have before and you get better at it and your hand doesn't get tired anymore. But I didn't have those muscles, and now my finger is numb. And I had a great time. And see, because this uh, the wood here was all old and the paint was fl flaky, the, the paint kind of uh, seeped into the wood in a way I didn't think was ideal. I guess it kind of gives you a look. It gives a look that you can accomplish otherwise, but it's not really the look I wanted. Kind of a, I don't know, I guess it's kind of rustic, I don't know, but, hmm. Yes. Just yes. I had a great time. It was fun. I would do it again. I'll find another wall somewhere and get at least a little bit of permission from somebody. Somebody. Somewhere. I will. I'll do it again. It was fun. I would do it again. All right. Goodbye, everyone. <sighs> Goodbye. I'm going to go find, I'm gonna go find lunch. You, sh you guys should find lunch. Ch -ch -ch -ch.